Welcome back to another episode of my Neil's Old Boys Save and things are really starting to heat up. In this episode we'll be in the Copa Sudamericana final and I think I'll show the Copa Argentina semi-final of the cup. So I'll just show you what's happened off camera. We've gone on a decent run. Um, we started off with a 1-0 win. Again, Moreno, it's a long shot against the, you know, the 21st in the side, so in the table, so should have had a few more. Um, but still a win. Then we went on to win 3-0. Um, I think I'll show you the goals here, purely because they're pretty special. Well, two of them are anyway. Uh, Perez T gets one and Joanne Spores gets two. Um, <clears throat> and it should just be the goals. I think, yeah, so Sosa whips the ball in. That might be his first assist, but Perez Tiga just finishes it off. He was a bit unhappy, so I think that's why his form was suffering a little bit. He's, he's got a couple of goals now. His run scores adds the second goal from distance, just smashes it in, in off the post. And then the third goal is definitely the best. From a corner, Wagintos whips it in, it gets cleared on the volley, or scissor kicks in the back, and I was screaming when that went in. So yeah, those goals are pretty, pretty wicked. And then after that, we had a 2 all draw. Um, a bit of a strain because we came back from behind to get it to 2-1 and then conceded late. Perez Tika and Fontanini gets a goal there. And again, one all draw again. Garrido gets his second goal of his career for us, which is good. The 17-year-old, he's still, you know, got a few things to work on. But yeah, he's uh, got two goals now for us. Um, and then, where were we? we? After that, we scraped by the quarter-final um, Carver Argentina game. Max Rodriguez, last minute, gets a winner there. And then we have an easy game, basically. We win 3-0 in the league. Rodriguez gets a goal and a few others. We get absolutely smashed then, just like three days before the final, which isn't great. But we were getting bad like 4-1 at half-time. And then Julian Fernandez just two-footed lunge, gets sent off. And just there's nothing else we can do. 6-1, fortunate to, to lose by by that. We could have lost by a lot more. So yeah, brings us to these two games that are going to be massive. ATM, uh, the players that they got, some of them value like 7 million, um, 7.2 million. So I'm hoping we can just do a job so we'll get we'll get straight into it. But what a massive game. Really want to win. You know, if we had a trophy, that'd be that'd be brilliant, especially this this cap. I mean it's pretty pretty huge, so yeah, we'll see what we can do. A few more subs. I think we'll get Cardozo on. Hopefully, don't need him. It'd be nice if he can impact it if we do need that that extra height. Um, who else? We'll chuck a few players on. I don't expect any to use any of these. Um, Joaquin Torres is injured. So is our right back, which is a bit irritating. And he, uh, that Tiaguinho is still slowly coming back. But Tola's back. But the other fullbacks in now, so you know. I think we'll go for Max Rodriguez on the right, Joan's forwards are behind, Singalani, Perez Tika. Uh the cent the two centre mids, that's pretty much the, the strongest partnership, especially when Julian Fernandez gets sent off left, right, centre. But yeah, there's not anyone who I'm like feeling a bit bad that we're leaving out. I think that's definitely the strongest. So yeah, we'll get into it. Patola. I'm not sure. I should probably take it off positive because this team is probably much better than us. They're, they're 10th in the Brazilian league at the moment. But I think it's because like the team swap players and like it's very rare like someone just dominates in the Brazilian league. I think it's just up and down all the time. But we'll just... Um, I'll just pause it a minute, make sure it's on extended highlights. Get body language up. And yeah, maybe... I'll wait five minutes. And we'll see about the positive. See if we can. Uh, I'll see the instructions now. One standard tempo, short passing. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, so cut final day. It's pouring down. Hopefully, we have a strong performance. Don't give a penalty away when I'm talking. And oh, this one nil already. That's irritating. Straight away. Worst possible outcome. I hate getting to getting to the finals and like not being in the game. But the dominant possession. Oh, I hope we hope we don't get smashed here. 
as they just run down the wing past two defenders with ease. They whip it in. Oh, it's 2 0. I mean, is that game over? So irritating. I think we're just going to have to, when we do get the ball, be deadly with it. Especially for now. Just 2 0 down within seven minutes, and it might even get worse. As we hoof it away. Problem we need to get we need to get a goal before they score again. <laughs> so we managed to keep hold of the ball for a little bit longer than usual. Can we get a chance of our own and we're gonna have to finish him? Max Rodriguez, lovely ball for Perez Tika. Ah, oh, that was a moment. That was a really big moment. Goalie, who I think is a key player, saves that. But that would have been such a good game if we got that in. As Max Rodriguez whips it in and we hit the crossbar and it's just pure panic from them. Oh, we need to put one of these chances away. Hopefully now this has given us confidence to... It's only 12 minutes into the game so if we get a goal back, we're back in it. Perez Teak on the ball. Singalani just horrifically gets that wrong. Yeah, I really want to win this. I don't care if they're favourites. As they catch us out of position. Don't give oh my goodness me. That I don't think that was a penalty, thank thankfully. Although the referee that's a run and check. That was a penalty then. This is like the worst game ever. Drum roll. No penalty. Well, that's a positive. I mean, I could see that straight away. Hopefully, we can defend this free kick. Alan to whip it in. Go on, get rid of it, lads. Hoofs it away. I mean, we need to get to like two one when we go in at half time. We need to claw. We need to half the deficit. Definitely not concede another one. As he, they need to try to whip it in the far post here. I mean, we've done quite well to, to come this far. They like, definitely really well, but I just, yeah, don't want to just turn over and lose the final. As Tola has the ball, Singalani. He's been very hot and cold this season. Oh, I can't really find anything there. A lot of our, like, our team's still a little bit inconsistent. Um, not as bad as last season, so that's a positive. As we deal with that, Max Rodriguez, and he gives it away, but we recover it. Kakabu. Moreno, Sforza. Straight over the top, gone for STK. He can't do anything this time. And as Ran Sforza tries to poke it through for him for a second attempt, but it's to no prevail. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, I'm just like hoping we can we can get a response here. I mean, yeah, this this is working. Just booing it, booing it long. I don't think Perez Tika can can finish it from there. As Max Rodriguez, come on, do something special. I mean, there's promising signs. I, I suppose we're making chances. Go on, please. Yes, right. That's that's what we needed. Long throw special. Fantanini gets himself a goal in the final and hopefully we can not concede for this half now and even better if we can get another goal while, whilst doing that. We really need that. Such a bad start. But come on, we, I think we've got the confidence. At least we've got like Prestige through. Um, like Rodriguez on the field, like his leadership should help everyone else. He's got like 18. Oh, as we need to be careful, our defenders are just getting... Ruined here. Have they whip in a free kick? Just over the bar. So it's nasty when they get highlights given. It's just a free kick to the other team. It's like, oh, how did this happen? As you go in half time, two one. I suppose that was my wish. Um, and yeah, I don't think it's definitely not game over. So we're still in it. I was like, we've been unlucky. And hopefully that just motivates them to carry on as they were. And yeah, hopefully 
you can just nick back that gold in the next 20 to 25 minutes. As much as he gets, tries to do it probably quicker than that. But this is surely just a half time beginning highlight. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, hopefully it is now. Oh, yeah, these boys aren't going to see within 5 10 minutes. So they can't, well, we, we stop them from playing up from the back, near, well, nearly anyway. Um, well, we do, we interrupt their, their passage of play. Let's see if we can get a goal here, this will be huge. Rodriguez finds Perez Tika, can he finish? Yes, he can. What a goal, Max Rodriguez with a brilliant assist, and Perez Tika with a superb finish. I mean, that was brilliant, that was class. I mean, it couldn't be a better combination. I think I always want Rodriguez on the ball round here, and Perez Tika with a perfect run. What a finish that is. Bottom left, squeezes it in. Goldie just can't keep hold of it. Perez League is just improving every like, game. Even when he has... They want to show it again. Why not? Look at that run. Oh, that is like a... Pibble and Zaggy run, that is. And the finish. Oh, thrilling. Uh, two all. So come on, boys. Let's just... We're here now. Let's get another one. As they have a corner. And Perez League looks like he's taking a knock. Says he wants to come off. To see if he can regain some of his energy. But if that would be a massive blow. But then, you know, it does set the stage for Mr. Cardozo to show everyone what he's capable of. I, I don't really want to play him. As they do a dodgy ball back to the keeper, hopefully he's nuts. Hopefully he's. No, he, he hasn't done anything mad. Hopefully he was like Bartez and he just legs it around. As they go behind our defence, oh, can our goalie stay strong? What a save! Got a wicked hand on that. Yeah, Perez Tiga looks like he might have not shake, um, run that off, so that's good. Good news. As they whip it in again. Yeah, I think our play have been a bit more direct and not hold on to the ball so much and just trying to put it behind the defence is much better. As you can see, they have such a high line. Um, and maybe we can take advantage of that I mean I think we are anyway I don't want to tweak it too much clearly we've got them on the ropes a little bit when we have the ball oh, again they have corner after corner here Eesh. we're not too bad at defending corners we don't really have the personnel for it but our tactic isn't too bad um, oh, and they're under the cosh a little bit I don't really want to have like someone like Cardozo up top because he's not going to run behind the strikers, is he? As they look to attack on this left wing. They whip it in, it's a good ball, but Allen has good hands. Just the single line isn't really getting involved in the game. He's got 6.4, he needs to come off. And Kakabu isn't having a brilliant game as they throw on goal. Good defending. <clears throat> Don't like doing subs when it's uh, corners, but maybe I'll do it after this. Can Rodriguez spring a counter attack for us? Hopefully, we're not running himself. I mean, he gets a free kick, so not too bad, but Rodriguez, you're much faster when you pass the ball. When I do a sub, Singalani isn't having a brilliant game. Let's get Carido on. And. Hmm, Patola. Yeah, Patola's not on a brilliant game. So so very young, but yeah, see what he's capable of. As they just score, I just completely missed that. Brilliant. That's the problem when you don't pause the game. See what happens. They just boot it in the box, flick it to the back post. Ah. I think we're gonna have to change things up a little bit. We're going to 75 minutes. We're gonna have to Hmm. I mean, the tap mid's not as Ryan's force isn't having a brilliant game, so let's just try it out. Let's have Cardozo on purely for the the height. Press TK to go. Hmm, I'm thinking maybe it's a bit mad, but maybe we do the three. Cardozo in the middle, if I can squeeze him in. Lovely. And he can be. Poacher, two advanced forwards, 
get Rodriguez. Get these guys up the field a bit, shall we? Wing back support. Wing back support might as well. Go attacking. I'm thinking. Do we have any more subs? I don't think we do. Um I don't think we do. So we just try. No we don't. Um attacking. We'll go standard much quicker, be more expressive, I suppose. We won't wait wait for the overlaps. We'll go wide, pass into space, we'll mix it up. We will go to the full backs, distribute quickly, we'll counter attack. Much more agent obviously we'll get up there. Prevent short goal kicks. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. We'll have to just boot it along, aren't we? So, yeah, that'll do. Let's see what happens now. Go for broke, really, isn't it? Um, as we look to lob in, Perez Tigas are going to knock again. Hope we can stay on. I'm hoping Cardoso's at the front. Ooh, oh, my days. Oh, it just fell to his feet, and I thought this could be his moment. I'm hoping we have at least one more chance. As as uh, they have the ball on the left. Don't concede, boys, and it's game over. Ah, uh, I mean they were the better size, and in the game. So I think yeah, that's pretty much pretty much closes the game off now. It won't change anything, just in case we can get like a dramatic late goal again. Yeah, I hate losing finals, but it's good that we got here. It's not over. I suppose it's not over yet. It's gone. How oh, they boot it away. Let's just try and basically make sure we win the semi-final in the next get in the next game in the cup, and do our best to win that. As they make it, oh, they make it five-two. I suppose it was go for broke, really. Maybe a bit too early, but. Yeah, 5-2 it looks like it's going to end up, up as. Disappointing, I suppose. But I imagine you get a bit of money. <laughs> bit of money. Bit of experience. It's been entertaining. The journey's been good. And, you know, I think you've got to lose a, lose a final to then have that hunger to go back and make sure you win it next time. Go on, ref, blow up. We're not interested anymore. Don't make it 6 2 either. Ah, yeah, the, the quicker we move on from this game, the better. We'll get into the next semi final game after this and just put it behind us. We're playing someone in, like, I think they're seventh in the league, so they're, it's a tough team, so it's not going to be easy. I think the other the other game is Argentinians Juniors versus River Plate. So even if we get to the final, he'll be tough. As we are runners up in the Copa Sudamericana, the better team won. They absolutely smashed us in the end, but we gave it a good go. We were two 0 down. But yeah, enough of that. You can just dig an old party on their own. We don't need to see that. I'll say unlucky boys. Can't be too harsh. That harsh on them. Yeah, well, we got 1.5 million, which is pretty pretty awesome to be fair. That keeps us like well above the the red for the time being. Yeah, he did pick up a knock. If you know, can notice his passing is now 16 as well. I mean, and if he's off the ball, his technique, his dribbling, determination, all go to 16, which is like really likely. He's gonna be such a such a good player. I mean, he already is. What's he got? He's got. Yeah, nine league games, five goals, eighteen games in total, nine goals. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I'll leave it here, and I'll be back for the next game. Yeah, welcome back. Just a little bit earlier. Um, just wanted to show the golden boot for Copa Sudamericana. Perez Tiga misses out by a goal. It's not too bad, and it's obviously we did pretty well. I win <laughs> best manager, and I didn't even win it. The ATM manager must be a little bit, a little bit miffed about that.
but I suppose it just shows how well how well we did really. Um, director of football, blah blah, blah has praised praised me, lovely. So you want to hear? So yeah, I mean, I'm getting some credit for that. And Guani was in team of the year in Sudamar Sudamar So you know, it's not too bad. I'm doing B at the moment on the performance. I'm struggling there purely because we got so many under twenty three. So we need to sign them anyway. Like I said, we'll be back now for the semi-final of the Argentina Cup. So we are back now, just before the game. Um, we've had a bit of news with Perez TK. He's got a knock. I mean, he's not showing. Um, but you can see he's not fit enough to, to play. So he's going to miss out. So we're going to go with Garrido up top. And then we're going to have Max Rodriguez, Sforza, Joaquin Torres, who's back behind. Same midfield too. And the back line... Fentanelli Capasso, because who was injured? Guani suspended. Obviously, Fernandez is suspended as well. Um, yeah, so we'll get into it. We're just looking to get that last game out of our minds and progress to another final whilst doing that. It's going to be like a close game, I think. You know, it's, they're a seventh in the league. I think we're like sixth. So, two evenly matched sides. So yeah, hopefully we can really bounce back now. Obviously Max Rodriguez can lead the guys to uh, to victory here as we get it underway. I don't think we're home. I think it's just a neutral ground. Yeah, it's neat. I think it's neutral. The classic burger vans in the corner. That's where I would be. As Avocado. I need to change his name. I just realised. I will be as well. It's not Ace Avido or whatever. It's Avocado. As Garrido's on the ball, Patola. It's a big game for Garrido as well, really, because he probably shouldn't be playing just yet, but I'm going to have to get him involved. I don't really trust uh, Cardozo and Alexis Rodriguez. I'd rather have my faith in the in the younger strikers so they can develop as well. As is an overlap on the right-hand side. Nahul and Monteri, Montero whips it in to Mino over the bar I, oh, I haven't shown you guys we've had a youth intake and it was worse than last year it was it's so bad that it's so bad that I don't really want to rename one of you guys one of those players because I, they're probably never they're never going to play I'd rather as Greedo he's onside and he gets a goal Max Rodriguez again Wonderful assist. Greedo just smashes it in home. Awesome. The risk has paid off a little bit, it seems. Yeah, I don't want to rename one of those rubbish players, one of you guys. Um, so hopefully next youth intake, they come around pretty quick. Hopefully there's a decent player in there and we can uh, yeah, rename one of those. Because that'll be a bit of fun. It's a bit annoying to say the worst one ever. I mean, the first one we had was, was pretty terrible, but there's like two players that might make the first team, so it's not too bad. Apologies for the chair. As we are dominating possession, which is good. Like every game. I think we must have one of the highest rates of possession. I should double check that. As the avocado lobs it in. Beats his man. He's loving his new name. Pulls it back to Moreno, whips it in, and Max Rodriguez, he finishes it off. You can tell he's angry, he's still not over that last game, so he's trying to put it into the back of his mind with an assist and a goal to hopefully take us to the final of the Argentine Cup. Argentina Cup, or Copa, a Copa Argentina, that's what it is. It's so confusing. So many coppers. As they look to respond themselves. Hopefully we stay strong. Down this right hand side. Back post. What a header. Loops it right over our keeper. He looks huge. Valentin Viola. Sixth goal of the season. Hopefully we don't collapse. Shouldn't do. <laughs> Says that. I have nothing to back that up. 
they are, they are seriously attacking right now. No pen. Get the ball. Good block. Go on, Rodriguez. Kind of just hoops it in the wrong way. Corner. Get rid of it. Go on, Torres. You're just back. Fresh legs. Go on. He's going on a long run. He's going to have to cut back onto his left to Jolie. Is that a penalty? I mean, well, I mean, it must be, yeah. Didn't look like one, to be fair. And Rodriguez has the chance to put his two goals up again. He never misses. Yes. I risked it. I thought, you know what? He doesn't miss. Show the confidence. Seven goals for Max Rodriguez this season. He didn't play like three or four games just before this episode. Like I kind of rested him slash got some of the other players to see if they can step up a bit. And yeah, since he's come back, he's found his feet again. He drifted off a little bit. Can't really blame him because he's like 59. Um, but yeah, good that he's got two goals and assist. Does show that he can still offer us uh, quite a bit. And Juan's forwards are still has a long way to go to, to be able to replace him. As Avocado's in miles of space, whips in lovely, defended quite well. As Kakabu has the ball, finds Max Rodriguez, the toe Finds Garrido, what a save. I mean, the finish was pretty good. Went to lift it over the keeper and he just, his uh, hand just scoops it away. As he launches into the box, oh yes, and Fontanini scores from a long throw. Not the first time. Probably won't be the last time. 4-1 just before half time. This is the game that we needed. This is the, the reaction that I was after. Hopefully we can just keep on going as well. Take all that horrible anger out on the, this team that we've already surely beaten. Oh, it's Greedo. What a touch. Max Rodriguez. To Kakabu. Patola. Can Rodriguez find anyone? Nah, he just stands there. Might as well, he's allowed to, to be fair. As I think that will probably end it now towards half time. Yeah, in the league, I didn't I don't know if I showed you the position, but we're like sixth. I think I said it earlier, but kind of the similar story of last season. But maybe we're doing a little bit better. So it's a whole I'll show you after this anyway. Um, keep it up, boys. Hopefully they don't get too complacent. I think naturally, obviously, like, ease off. But hopefully we have a... Those type of players that we don't we don't just crumble. Uh, Wacky Tars has had a pretty decent return. He was out for four to five weeks. Probably we'll, we'll sub him off so we can rest a bit. As Rodriguez whips it in. Joanne Sforza to pick it up. Avogado, Fontanini. To Capasso, which is knocking it about now, really confidently. I mean, that wasn't brilliant. Yeah, Julian Fernandez, who's like the, our ball winner, who got sent off off camera and hasn't featured in this episode. He's not really a fan. Like His best position is ball winner and you know, his best stats are like aggression and things like that. So he's like a good player. But he probably doesn't really fit too much into how we want to play. Like I want like a deep line playmaker next to like a, a box to box. But yeah, not like, not like a ball winner who just doesn't really, can't really add it. Like a box to box with actually, with actual like quality in the final third. He doesn't have any. He takes towards the odd long shot. But he doesn't like pass the ball right very well. Just slagging him off. As I think we should do some subs. I think the avocado is just knackered. He hasn't picked up a knot, but we'll take uh, Torres off. For Gonzalez, he's he's been okay. Um, he needs a bit more game time, really. Um, we'll leave it like that for the time being. As Patola launches it in, no one, no one there. Garrido's picked up a knot, which is irritating. Cardozo, get on. Cardozo should get a couple from just those throw-ins, shouldn't he? 
Cardozo, I think, well, obviously, it will be definitely be his last year for us. He's not retiring, I don't think. That's, that's a horrific pass. Have we got enough bodies back to defend it? Ooh, goalie. Oh, Alan just can't get out there quick enough. Brian Blando. A lot of Brian's in Argentina. Not sure if that's a good thing. Um. Yeah, four two, not brilliant. To be careful that we don't crumble here. Should be okay. Do another sub. Kakabu, Risordo. And that should hopefully see us through. As Max Rodriguez is going to complete yet another 90 minutes. They whipped it to the back post. Good save, Alan. Good save. Can we see off this? Well, it's going to be balanced. Go on, Gonzalez. Fresh legs. You should be getting that. Nice. Just go for a run. Don't pass it to Cardozo. Good. Ooh, long throw. Go on, Cardozo. You can see number seven. Lurkin. Lurkin at the front post. Getting on his bonds. Ah, it's past him. As they look to counter attack us. We should have. Yeah, we've got numbers back. Plenty of numbers back, boys. Shouldn't be an issue. Keep Alec covered. And that looks like we'll be getting to the final with this result, which I'm thrilled about, really. It's good. I mean, disappointed about the cap, the uh, Sud America on it. But hopefully now we can take revenge in the, in the cup final. As long as we don't concede here. Good save, Alan. They've really been knocking at the door. Alan is like nuts and he does concede stupid goals sometimes, but he does that so often. Like just mental saves like that. So I don't, we would never really like slag him off or look to replace him really. Because he's like, yeah, he's pretty solid to be fair. And surely that does it. It's absolutely pouring outside. So if you can hear some background noise, it's because our window is getting bad. Come on, blow up ref. Alan's got it. And yeah, hopefully you see the river play or Argentinian Juniors. Um, and we'll find out, I suppose, in the next couple of minutes. Good win, boys. Delighted. And yeah, thrilled with that. Let's see what they say. We take our chances. He's up to five or six days. We get eight grand. Beautiful. Ooh, River Plate lost. Okay, that was that's. I know we battered River Plate five 0 but I'd always pick these fellas over River Plate. So that Audrey um, what a legendary performance that is. I know who's starting in the cup final. That's for sure. Um, that's pretty, pretty cool. I don't know when the final is. Oh, it's it's really soon. So we'll, I'll show that. Um, past winners. Oh, it hasn't been on for long. I suppose there's been other versions of it. History. I mean, yeah, we've only won the league. We've never won the cup before then. So that would be pretty, that would be huge to be fair. Okay. So yeah. Okay, I think we'll leave it there. There's not, I think there was something I wanted to show you but I can't remember what it was now. But yeah, I'll be back for that that final against Argentinos Juniors. And we, yeah, hopefully we get our first bit of silverware of the series in the next episode. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, give it a like if you enjoyed this episode. And if you're new, please subscribe. And yeah, thanks for your support and, and all that good stuff. Drop some comments down below if there's something that caught your eye or anything like that. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.